We're back for more of today's top stories. Patron of 27 Sea Games Organizing Leading Committee, Vice President Unyantun, met officials of sports federations at Tuwana Indoor Stadium in Yangon on 22nd February. With the motto, Green, Clean and Friendship, Myanmar is preparing to host the 27 Sea Games. The Vice President stated that uh, time is running out and there are only 291 days left to host the Sea Games. He urged those present to submit progress of preparation and the needs of sports federations. Yangon Region Chief Minister Umi Sui and Union Minister Uti San discussed sports events to be held in Yangon, systematic aerobic training to the students, torch lighting and torch relay and flag hoisting programs, as well as recruitment of athletes hosting the sports events considering the convenience of venues, budget and participating countries, juries and judges, and the interest of participating countries. It was followed by a round of discussion by officials of sports federations of football, futsal, tennis, bodybuilding, hockey, wushu, karate do, pansex luck, or martial arts, boxing, petank, shooting, badminton, table tennis, sebak takro and Myanmar chinlone, billiards and snooker, Shorinji Kempu, riding, judo, archery, basketball, track and field, golf, weightlifting, yachting, volleyball, swimming, boxing, canoeing and rowing, cycling, chess, wrestling, and 7th ASEAN Para Games in January 2014, relating to progress of gold camp training, further joint training, and pre sea games for international exposure, the requirements of infrastructure, sports equipment, and power supply. Chairman of Myanmar Sports Journalist Association also discussed to promote Myanmar sports standard and public awareness of the forthcoming Sea Games. Unyantun also discussed that according to the ASEAN Charter, traditional games are included based on mutual friendship. He pointed out that Myanmar traditional games should be preserved and promoted, and he urged officials to submit implementation plans. He also instructed officials to start compiling documents and photos of veteran athletes to exhibit at the Sports Museum and Motivation Hall. After that, the Vice President provided sports gears worth over 1.15 billion shots to the sports federations of archery, track and field, rowing, riding, shooting, football, futsal, yachting, and karate -do. In his closing remarks, Vice President Union Tun stated the importance of Sea Games to reflect environmental conservation of ecological cities, clean, fair, and uh, uh, sports-minded spirit, rich cultural heritage, hospitality, and ASEAN friendship. He also stated the importance of positive and constructive approach of media to raise public awareness of Sea Games and also civic duties of all strata. With healthy relations between the government and the sports federations, challenges should be embraced as opportunities with full confidence. Through the performance and management indicators, the requirements of stakeholders and players should be evaluated to achieve qualified sports training and sports science and technology. Our MITB reporter interviewed some officials of sports federations. Let's take a look. Patron of 27 Sea Game Organizing Leading Committee, Vice President Union Tu met with responsible officials, chairmen, and members of sports federations at Tuvuna Stadium. They discussed progress of preparations for the Sea Games. Myanmar Rowing and Canoeing Federation is uh, taking care of three events. One is the rowing, international rowing, and second one is canoeing, international canoeing, and traditional boat. So, in fact, uh, we are trying to concentrate uh, all the three events, but more on the traditional boat, which uh, we have quite strong in Southeast Asia. And uh, we won uh, nine goals out of ten events uh, last, year, uh, last time in Indonesia. It will be a good challenge for us, you know, race uh, for the traditional boat between Myanmar, Indonesia, and Philippines. Uh, so, 
at the moment uh, we got a foreign coach, uh, the Hungarian coach for canoeing, and uh, Chinese coaches for rowing and uh, uh, canoeing. Uh, I mean, when I say canoeing, for the Hungarian coach it is kayak. It is a uh, two-way kayak, and uh, the Chinese uh, coach is looking after canoeing, and the Chinese another lady Chinese coach is looking for rowing. I think uh, they are doing quite well now. Usually for rowing, uh, they you you should have uh, two thousand meters for that, uh, but uh, uh, we in Ale the most you can get is thousand eight hundred. But in Ngalai, in uh, Nebido, Ngalai Dam, where we are holding the Southeast Asian Games, uh, we got the uh, uh, distance. So now we are training in Inyan Lake, but when about three months before the Games, I think we should move the camp uh, to Nebido for, for practical training to get the distance. Our Abnama body building has a motto. Bodybuilding is nation building. So, uh, our bodybuilders are uh, preparing to compete in the coming 27C Games. So, we will uh, all together five categories 55 kilograms, 60 kilograms, 70, 80, and 90 kilograms. Because our bodybuilders are very uh, famous in Asian or also Southeast Asians. And some other events, we get some gold, some silvers. Uh, every time we got the, some uh, awards from the competition. So I think so. Uh, our bodybuilders were came being to our honor to the country. We hope Nama will host 27 Sea Games successfully and will bring honor to the nation and the people. I'm Nam Poin Ang reporting from Tuwana Indoor Stadium, Yangon. In other news, Peter Hluto Speaker Turo Ushweman gave a speech at a meeting with the chairman, secretaries and members of Hluto committees and commission held at the Hluto building in Nepito on 22nd February. Those present reported on work undertakings of prospective committees and commission. The meeting ended with closing remarks by the speaker. We have more news to come. Please stay with us.